Okay, this is a quick overview of um, Lesson 26, your first time when you're actually starting work, editing, uploading, etc. So here I am in Lesson 26. I'm on the first one. You can see I've already started this work. I know I've started it because and I've uploaded it because my edit work button is available. It's not grayed out. So um, let me see, which one haven't I done? I haven't done 26.5, so let's look at that. So you can see here, I haven't done this because the edit work isn't there. So I click the start file and it will open a Word document for me. And this is a um, one of a brand new one that hasn't been done before. So I need to start typing. Okay, here's the finished document, and before I upload it, I'm going to proofread it, and I can see that I have a couple of errors and trends as they apply. There's nothing wrong. Productive is wrong, so I right-click and I choose productive. Um, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with trends here. It seems like it's the right word. There we go. Okay, I just retyped it. Um, all right and sincerely. So I'm going to upload this. Now I have made a couple of errors uh, and I will um, I'll get to see those when I upload it. Um, so let me upload this. I'm going to save it. I'll just quickly um, you can see that it adds a name to it. Um, I'm going to just make sure it saves to the desktop because it'll be easier for me to find it. All right. So I'm going to close it, and now I'm going to um, browse to upload it. And I'll browse to the desktop, and it is this one. I'll open. And submit work. And now it's going to um, bring up a screen with my errors. Okay. So I was supposed to write May 25th, and I wrote today's date. I'm uh, The omission means I'm missing. I'm missing an extra paragraph mark there. I didn't have three blank ones. I can see there's nine keystroke errors and uh, formatting errors. So I didn't press enter five times at the top, top and my letter should be 12 point font. This is because in my office I have it set at, uh, I believe it's um, Times New Roman 12 point, but we'll see. Uh, might be something else. So let's see what other my errors are. Um, Dear Ms. Lopez, and her name is Ms. Green, um, I have an extra space after the word issue before the paragraph marker. There's nothing wrong with this sentence. Um, contractual issues period but I hit the space bar so I've got this one extra little thing I have to get rid of it remember this has to match exactly this is just a dumb computer it's not artificial intelligence all right once again this should be thank you it did looked fine on my document because the word then is a real word I need an extra enter here Kathleen Franco, I again added a space after her last name. It needs to get rid of that little space. And the paragraph marker sit right next to the letter like that. And that's it. So let me close this. And when I hit edit work, it will open the Word document and this for me. So then I can use both of them. Now I'm not going to be able to see both on this little screen because, you know, I, I have this so that we can... I can see um, for the video. So let me put my show hide on. So I need an extra one there. I need an extra one there. Um, her name is Ms. Green. I have an extra space there. Um, I need thank you. I need three spaces here. They definitely need, uh, Kathleen Franco needs space to type her name. I mean, I'm sorry, to sign her name really big. Is that about it? I'm going to save this because I've already saved it and put it somewhere so I know it's there. Okay, 
All right, so let's upload it and see what happens. Browse, desktop, open. And good. So I have no more formatting and I still have one keyboarding error. Ms. Lopez, oh, didn't I not change that to Ms. Green? Okay, so you can see what you want is you want, once your work says um, zero, zero, when you submit your work and you see zero, zero, then you can open it again and um, print it out. But it needs to be right, dear Ms. Green. Um, and now it wants to call this 5-3. So I can see what I need to go back to the desktop and give it that name. You can have all the different versions if you want. I just don't want to. I just want it named one thing. Okay, I'll try one more time. And hopefully this will be right. Submit work. And here we are, zero errors with no formatting errors. So at this point, I would close this, open the document, and print it out for my instructor. And that's what I would turn in, okay? So that's the start work, edit, browse, submit. Now, in this keyboarding program, you can't share files. You have to click start work. And when you click, if at this point, I've already done the work, right? But if I hit start work again, it will wipe out everything I've done so far. So I only want to hit start work at the beginning of the document. And the start work, when you open it up, you don't see, but in the background of this document, um, there's something telling the keyboarding program, this is you. You can see right here, it says Chris Wilkins. So you can't share files or use someone else's um, work. So if you're, you know, if you and your friend are using the same flash drive or something like that, just be careful where you're saving your work and that it's always your own file you're uploading. All right, that's it for uh, lesson 26. Have fun.